We are on our way in to pick some berries. But I had to stop and take a shot of this. How could you not love this place? I'm not sure what it is about being up here near the Louis Hills, but this place just simply makes my heart beat happy. It's a place where I truly feel connected to the land and all the creatures of it. Karen and I managed to pick a few wild strawberries, but the majority of them were overripe. We've waited too long to harvest them. Closed its wings. I missed it. I would love to have a dollar for every moose I've seen here in this country. We spent countless hours up here scouting and watching for moose as they fed and bed down on those hills. These hills call to me. This land calls to me. I enjoy my time I spend up here. It's just, just beautiful down here. I, I always love coming here. I might have to come up here for a few rabbits this fall and maybe spend a night or two in the old canvas tent. I might go down here tomorrow, salmon fishing. There's nothing like getting out on the land. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Nice one. Where are we heading? Fox Island River. Going for a little look. It's absolutely gorgeous down in there. How many how many moves did we see so far today, Shane? Five, I believe. Yeah. One nice bull, eh? Yeah, two cows. Yeah. And then a couple of trophy uh couple of trophy meat bulls. That's part of the fall. Yeah. The ones he wants to shoot, not the big old boy, but... No, no. But we're heading... Down there. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, I guess we got about a kilometer and a half to go? Yeah, about that. Yeah. About a kilometer and a half. We've already come a kilometer and a half. And a kilometer and a half more to go. And, uh... Sun will soon be coming up over there. I can't think of a better place to watch the morning sun sneak up over the mountains to signal the start of a new day. Shane gets first honors as this is his first time out fishing this year and he needs to tag a salmon to feed his family. The water levels are low but the temps are much colder up here as this river is fed by the melting snow. Yes, we still have snow here in Newfoundland. And we are into the second week of August now. The silvery shine on this rock caught my attention. I had rose of salmon here, so I called out for Shane to come and fish over him. Yeah, a little bit further down. Right about there. But the salmon were funny today. It seemed like they would only come once for a fly. If you missed it, you were better off just heading to fish a different part of the pool or a different section of the river. Yeah, I had a dark fly on. Huh? Oh, that's a good spot right about there, buddy. Huh? No. <clears throat> I decided to try a little brown bug with an orange tail, but the salmon still weren't interested. Don't forget, Charlie, this is your pool here, buddy. Charlie's pool. Well, the long walk into this river valley was worth it. What a beautiful, scenic place to fish. My dad would camp on this river when he was a teenager. He would catch some dry salmon and then pack him out to his family. He would spend weeks up here, sleeping in a bow lean-to on the bank of the river, eating fresh fish and wild berries as he collected and dried salmon to pack them out. Once he had all he could manage for weight, he headed for home. 
Gone are those days where we could hunt, fish and gather for all the food we needed. We would be badly undernourished today with our maximum limit of one salmon per year here on this river. A way of life here for hundreds of years, now lost forever due to greed. So what's the prognosis so far today? One fish. One fish. Lots of fish not taken. Yeah, I I, got it wrong. I rose three, struck one, you rose two. Three. There's a tree I rose? You rose two below. Yeah. One. And one, the big one up here. Uh, up here, yeah. And then you hooked I that one. Hooked that one, yeah. You got him. Yeah. But he, I was fishing down below and I didn't have the camera up there with him when he hooked the fish. Fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now he's going to try and fish down through this to see if we can't get him on camera catching a salmon. First catch. You guys already saw me catching salmon. We got to get Shane catching the salmon. No. It's hard to believe that salmon lay here, but there are holes all over this run where they can seek shelter from the constant current of this section of river. A place to have a little break on their journey up to the spawning grounds. I'm looking forward to next year's adventures into this beautiful river valley in search of the majestic Atlantic salmon, the king of fish. We took my little plane and we flew over to Iceland. We're so far north there's still snow. Of course that's not true, but this place sure has a similar look to it. Today I was just as content to sit here and look at my surroundings than I was to fish. I think you got a nice trout. With fishing, you never know when a strike will happen. One well-placed fly could entice a rise in the blink of an eye, and it soon happened like a flash of lightning. Fish on. Now that's good eating. Pick that up on the shore. Yes, sir. That's fresh sea trout there, man. Oh, yes, look at that. Well done. Salmon. It's not salmon. Sure? Yeah. Look at the tail. Oh, look at the tail. Oh. If it had a bee in the tail, it would be a uh, salmon. That's the trout. There's a sea trout. Jeez, there's some scale on it. Yeah, sea trout, Adam. Now what's that right there? I wonder. Got it right on the shore like that. Yeah. Some no, somebody nice to you tagged it for you. <laughs> Shane's catch. So it was a good day. Woohoo! The only thing bad about it is I didn't catch him on film. <laughs> This will make a nice meal for him and his family to enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Hit the like button if that's something that you're into. And please, feel free to share my videos.